Hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, this week we're talking about who's a Christian and how we know. Is it because they've got a cross on the wall or maybe on their necklace or maybe tattooed somewhere on their body or maybe their earrings? No. Having a cross, even if it's a bumper sticker, does not make you a Christian. Keith Green used to say, going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than going to McDonald's makes you a hamburger or something like that. I don't remember quite how he said it. But we do have ways of knowing ourselves and others whether or not Jesus truly is the Lord of our life. And we've been looking at some of those this week in our video thoughts for the day from the book we call 1 John. Now in 1 John, the third chapter, verses 10, verse 10 is specifically, John says, by this it's evident whether we're children of God or children of the devil. If we don't walk in righteousness, we're children of the devil. If we don't love our brother, we're children of the devil. Now, don't panic. If you've got some animosity and hatred and bitterness towards someone in your heart, don't say, oh no, I can't be a Christian. Or if you find yourself unrighteous in ways of things you do, oh no, I can't be a Christian. No, John is telling us that we need to grow in those areas. Don't be satisfied with that. See, when Paul says it this way to the Galatians, Paul says that these are fruit of the Spirit. And so Paul in Galatians 5 explained it as fruit, and that's very helpful because fruit grows from the inside out. Fruit doesn't appear overnight. Fruit takes time. But that's what God does in us. When we are serious about our faith, we are, are people who will pursue those fruits. Paul said these fruits are love. Just like John was saying, we love other people. And it's evident. People look at us and say, why do you love that person? Well, we love because Christ loved us and we take that love and translate it out. Paul doesn't stop there. He said, love, joy. Christians aren't supposed to be sour-faced, parsimon-sucking people. We're to be people of joy. Hey, what greater joy can there be than knowing the God who created the universe loves me unconditionally, cares for me, and has a plan for my life, and will talk to me whenever I choose, and, 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 and seeks to give me help and guidance. I mean, I got a lot to be joyful for. Every good gift comes from God. That's not it. Paul says love, joy, peace. It's going to be okay. Whatever's happening in the world, as a believer in Jesus, I am confident it's going to be okay. In the end, it all works out. If it hasn't worked out yet, it's not the end. Love, joy, peace, patience. If I'm a believer, I'm going to be growing in patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. I'll grow in those things and so will you. And as we watch each other grow, we will know God is at work in our lives and we are his. That's your video thought for the day.